Hey beauties, it's Nikea here with another natural hair video for you. But before we get into that, if you haven't already, y'all, just take one quick second, go down below, click that subscribe button. And once you do that, that bell notification button's gonna pop up. Click that so that you never miss an upload. Join the club. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Y'all, I am back using the Miel Organics. Am I saying that right, Miel? Miel? Miel Organics <laughs> Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Collection. So I've already um, used the overnight conditioner. I left that in my hair practically all day. I washed my hair with the Shea Moisture Moisture Retention Shampoo. Same as I did last time in my review video. Now I am going to apply the leave-in conditioner to each section. I will follow that up with the moisturizing hair butter and then the gel. Because as you can tell by this video, I'm doing a winter wash and go. So I'm starting at night because don't want to go outside in this winter chill with wet hair because then my strands will be frozen. All right, so I think I'm done talking. I'm just going to um, get started. Yeah, let's get popping. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna start with the scalp treatment because my head has been itching. The skin all over my body is dry. This winter is not playing. And I'm in a different state. And in North Carolina, my skin did not feel this dry. And I didn't have like issues with my scalp being dry in North Carolina. But now I'm in Virginia and we just acting up. All right, so I'm gonna put that and just massage that in. All right, y'all, I'm gonna get into this video now. All right, so first I'm just taking down those twists that I separated in those sections and I'm going to apply the Myel Organics Hawaiian Ginger Moisture RX Leave-In Conditioner. And this is best applied to wet hair. So definitely keep the spray bottle on deck. So I'm using this leave-in to help further detangle my hair with my wide tooth comb and then just raking and finger combing through to make sure all the tangles are gone. Then I'm gonna take the hair butter from the same collection and apply that all over the section, making sure that I have my roots covered and then detangling with my detangle brush. And as you can see, my curls are already clumping together. And then lastly, I'm going to use the gel from this collection, and that's what's going to create more definition and hold for my curls for this wash and go. And each time I apply a product, I'm making sure to detangle and make sure that it's evenly distributed throughout that section. And then I'm going through and I'm shingling, which means I'm just taking small pieces from that section and making sure that those individual strands and sections are defined. I usually don't do this, I just do the rake and shake method, I guess, that's what I typically do. But this time I wanted to try something different because I wanted to make sure that I had definition as well as volume in my wash and go. All right, so here I am just showing you all again. So like I said, make sure your sections are still moisturized, keep that spray bottle on deck, applying the products, the butter, and then the gel. Remember, I'm detangling with my comb and my brush each time I apply a product to make sure that it's evenly distributed throughout my hair and to ensure that my hair stays detangled. Make sure that you get the product on your roots because you want those to have definition as well and you want those to be moisturized too. Because as you can see, already some definition with just the butter and just detangling my hair and brushing and combing the product through. Now I'm gonna go through and shingle like I did before. So just taking smaller sections twisting them around my finger to define those curls and then leaving them alone and here you can already see the definition in those curls manifesting <laughs> I'm at the top of my hair so I'm making sure to define my part so I know how I want my hair to fall so I know what direction to style it in but I'm just repeating the steps that I did before spraying it with water because by the time I got to the top my hair had dried significantly so I want it to stay wet so that it could receive these products and these products work best on wet hair and that is exactly why I'm doing my wash and go at night so it can dry and I don't leave the house with wet hair and I'm still going through using the same shingling method I did this top part in the larger section because by this time I was just ready to be done and over it but I still apply the products in the same way still detangled and I'm still shingling Thank you. 
Now that my hair is all washed and goed, I just want to make sure that it's going in the same direction, applying some gel to my edges to make sure that they're laying down, and I'm just making sure my hair is falling the way I want it to fall. Now to sleep, I'm using my big old bonnet. I don't have a dryer, and I, use, I wish I had one, <laughs> but I was ready to go to bed. So I just put my hair in this big bonnet, which gives my curls room to move, but also protects my hair and I don't have to worry about smushing my wash and go. So I'm just gonna go to bed. All right, y'all, it's the next morning. I slept with this super huge bonnet on. I tried to sleep cute, but let's see. Definitely still wet. I'm back. I went to church with my hair wet. It's still a little damp now. <laughs> I did not have time to dry it, so let's diffuse. All right, so my roots are still a little wet part up front. I put some bobby pins in my hair to get this part to stay over. There we go. All right, so this is my hair dried and not stretched. I think it did well in the bonnet. If I had a, I need to get a, a hooded dryer. Um, I already sprayed the oil up there. As you can see, my hair is moisturized. It's not greasy or anything, but just really moisturized. And I'm just gonna fluff my roots just to get some more volume. And I love this shingling. Uh, kind of reminds me of when I did my wash and go with the dew over the summer. Look, I think I might, I'm not gonna fluff it too much. I like this like close crop. It's almost like I got my hair cut. Mm, uh oh, it's giving me ideas. All right, I got some more bobby pins. Y'all, this is giving me ideas. To cut my hair this shrinkage well, I went to church today and somebody thought I had cut my hair and I was like nope that's just shrinkage okay I like this and these shingles what sis get into this definition do y'all see this definition OMG but yes y'all I'm feeling it I'm feeling it well it's like I got a cut okay um yes okay Okay, okay, shrinkage. I see you. I see you, shrinkage. But that is it for today's video, beauties. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely use the Myel Organics, excuse me, the Myel Moisture Art X Hawaiian Ginger Collection. That gel and that butter and that leave in, it's so, it's so soft. I love the shrinkage too, I love it. But before you go, make sure you go down below and click that subscribe button. And right next to that, click that bell notification button so that you never miss when I post. Like I always say, it's free, it's easy, and it's fun. Again, thank you so much for watching beauties and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.